And we're gonna wake up the people because we want the clean energy in the sky when we look at the sun. I am Sagar Aryal. I'm 20 years old, climate activist from Nepal. I've been working in the field of education, health, and climate justice. Uh, well, my name is Daniel Jubilier. I'm a 22 year old organizer and urban farmer living in Berkeley, California. I'm Pitesca Tonati. I'm 15 years old from Boulder, Colorado, I'm an eco hip hop artist. So I'm here as a representative of Earth Guardians to inspire, empower, educate, and uplift young people. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm really passionate about climate change because I love the earth and I love people, and climate change affects everything and everybody. And so I think it's, um, it's our time as young people to take in responsibility and action right now. Like you guys, our leaders, you should really do something to protect our future, not the future of the planet, but the future of our generation. Because right now, like most of the people believe it's about saving the planet, which is not. It's about saving our generation. It's the only home we have. As a representative of my generation, as a member of the human race, I have a responsibility to protect the only planet that belongs to each and every one of us. We should educate people to, to move to a sustainable lifestyle. And for that reason, I thought education is a really important uh, factor to help us move forward in our journey. We look at all the possibilities, what we can become. If we unite and join hands together, we can make it stronger till it's like a propeller of hope. People think that in order to care about climate change, we have to be like activists. So false. You know, we, we love our activists and that's an important part of, of being in this movement. But we also need videographers and journalists and artists and poets and athletes and, you know, skateboarders and surfers using the things that you love to do to change the world. And that's, that's what our whole movement's about. Cause we rock in the city, but you know, it's nitty gritty. Conscious hip hop is just a really powerful tool that I've been using. Like, if I come onto that stage with a positive message, with good vibes, with good energy, talking about the issues that matter to my generation, the issues that matter to me, um, spreading that to those 10,000 people will be far more impactful than sitting in a room talking to 10. Most of them might not be engaged or interested in climate change, but when they can connect it to something like hip hop, that's just another tool to, that can engage people all over the place. Cause I use a toilet, cause that's how you say it in France. We need a social movement that's really powerful that engages people from lots of different parts of society where you know, we're building up a powerful mass of people demanding total systemic change, not just one new law or one new idea, but complete change. Young People in Paris, Conference of Youth, that was full of amazing, empowered young people. You know, just like myself, that are on this mission to fight for a better world. Just to remember how powerful we are as young people. You know, we have a lot of new ways of seeing the world. We have a lot of new tools at our disposal that other generations didn't have. And if we just like, look back to our elders and what social movements of the past have done, and we use our new ideas, I think we can totally create a different world. So we need every generation to follow us because we're, we're just in the lead and, and we need the support of everybody to help build the world that we want to see.